Welcome to spelling list number one. Today's spelling list will only use the A through Z phonograms. So I want you to listen to each word and then count the syllables with me, then sound it out as you write it, and then help me to write it by sounding it out with me. And then we'll discuss why it's spelled in that manner. The first word is gulf. The Gulf of Mexico is beautiful. Gulf. Let's sound it out together. G, a, o, f. Go ahead and write it. Gulf. And then help me to write it. Sound it out as I write it. G, a, o, f. Gulf. Notice this used all the first sounds of each of these uh, phonograms. The next word is pants. I will wear my black pants to the recital tonight. Pants. Let's sound it out together. P, a, n, t, s. Go ahead and write it. Pants. And then help me to write it. P, a, n, t, s. Once again, you'll notice we used all the first sounds of these phonograms. The next word is mob. A mob attacked the embassy. Mob. Let's sound it out together. M, a, b. Go ahead and write it. And then help me to write it. M, a, b. And once again, it's all first sounds. The next word is canyon. The Grand Canyon is in Arizona. For canyon, we're going to exaggerate the sounds for spelling purposes. So we're going to exaggerate it to can yawn. How many syllables in can yawn? That's two. Very good. The first syllable is can. K. Here you'll need to use the k phonogram. A n. Second syllable is yawn. Y a. Here you'll need a o u. N. Go ahead and write can yawn. Leave a space between the syllables, by the way. All right, go ahead and help me write it. First syllable is can, k, a, n. Second syllable is yawn, y, a, n. Once again, you'll notice we're using all the first sounds in these phonograms. Now, we're leaving a space between the syllables because in a few spelling lists, we'll be learning a rule where knowing where the syllable breaks is um, occur is very important. So we'll just, for now, leave the syllable breaks there, and in a few lessons we'll discover why this is important. The next word is kitten. The kitten meowed softly. How many syllables in kit? Ten. Two. Very good. First syllable is kit. K. Now this is a tall k, as in a k. I, t. Second syllable is ten. T, e, n. Go ahead and write it. And then help me to write it. The first syllable is kit, k, i, t. The second syllable is ten, t, e, n. All right, very good. The next word is cabin. We stayed at a quaint cabin. How many syllables in cab, in? Two, very good. Let's sound out the first syllable, cab, together. This is a k, s, a, b. Second syllable, in, i, n. Go ahead and write cabin. All right, help me to write it. First syllable is cab, k, a, b. Second syllable is in, i, n. Very good. Now, you'll notice canyon, kitten, and cabin all have the k sound at the beginning. And though we haven't learned this rule yet, if you have read Uncovering the Logic of English, you know that C softens to S only before an E, I, or Y. So here, we would have to use the K to say the K sound, because if we used a C, it would say sitten. 
And oftentimes we use the C to say the k sound if it's before an A, O, U, or another consonant. So the K is usually reserved for the hard k sound before an E, I, or Y. So that's your tip on how to know when to use a K or a C to spell the k sound at the beginning of a word. All right, the next word is draft. We need to hand in a draft on Monday. Draft. Let's sound it out. D, er, a, f, t. Very good. Go ahead and write draft. All right, now help me to write it. D, er, a, f, t. Once again, you'll notice these are all the first sounds in draft. The next word is denim. The denim coat is in the closet. How many syllables in den, im? Good, two. The first syllable is den. Let's sound it out together. D, e, n. The second syllable is im, i, m. Go ahead and write it. And then help me to write it. D, e, n, i, m. Denim. Once again, we have all first sounds in the word denim. The next word is vast. The Pacific Ocean is vast. Let's sound out vast together. V, a, s, t. Go ahead and write vast. And now help me to write it. V, a, s, t. Vast. The next word is cactus. I have a small cactus growing in a pot. How many syllables in cactus? Two. Very good. The first syllable is cac, k, a, k. Second syllable is tus, t, a, uh, s. We're going to use the k s phonogram for both k sounds in the first syllable. Go ahead and write cac, tus. And now help me to write it. K, a, k. Second syllable is tus, t, a, uh, once again, all first sounds in the word cactus. The next word is muskrat. I saw a muskrat at the zoo the other day. How many syllables in musk, rat? Two. The first syllable is musk. M, a, s, k. This is a tall k. The second syllable is rat. R, a, t. Go ahead and write musk, rat. All right, you can help me to write muskrat. M, a, s, k, r, a, t, muskrat. Now, there are two words that are used to form the word muskrat, and they are the word musk, which means a strong odor, and then rat. All right, very good. The next word is basket. I used a basket to carry our picnic. Basket. How many syllables in bas, ket? Two. Very good. The first syllable is bass, b, a, s. Second syllable is ket, k. Here you'll need the tall k, e, t. Go ahead and write basket. And now help me to write it. B, a, s, k, e, t. Basket. The next word is trumpet. Uncle John plays the trumpet. How many syllables in trum, pet? Two. Very good. The first syllable is trum. T, r, a, m. Second syllable is pet. P, e, t. Go ahead and write trum, pet. And now help me to write trumpet. T, r, a, m. Second syllable is pet. Et, trumpet. Now you'll notice with some of these words we're exaggerating the vowel sounds so that they are articulated clearly. Also in different dialects some people may say trumpet or trumpet but um, if we articulate them clearly that will give us an auditory clue to how these words are spelled and provide auditory learners another avenue to remember these spellings rather than just trying to remember the visual look of the word. The next word is drab. It is a drab day outside. Drab. D, r, a, b. 
Go ahead and write drab. And now help me to write it. D, er, a, b. Drab. The next word is damp. That blanket is still damp. Damp. Let's sound it out. D, a, m, p. Go ahead and write damp. And help me to write it. D, a, m, p. Damp. The next word is squalid. There's a squalid old cabin in the woods. Squalid. How many syllables in squalid? Two. The first syllable is squa, s, qu. Notice we use q u always needs a u. Aw. Here I want you to use the a a a phonogram. Lid. L e d. Squalid. Go ahead and write it. And now help me to write it. S qu. A. Lid. L e d. In this word, we're going to do a little bit of marking. We're going to underline the qu to help us that to remember that Q always needs a U, and that the phonogram qu is spelled with two letters. Also, what sound of a a a do we hear in squalid? That's right, we hear the third sound. Now, this is called the broad sound, and in the dictionary, it is often marked with two dots. So to help us remember that this is saying it's broad sound a, uh, we are going to put the two dots like the dictionary over it to remember it says squalid, squalid. The next word is rustic. The rustic bridge crossed the river. Rustic. How many syllables in rustic? Two. Let's sound out the first syllable rust together. R a s. Second syllable tick. T e k. This is a k s. Go ahead and write rustic. And then help me to write it. R a s t e k. Once again, it is all first sounds. Rustic. Timid. The timid kitten approached me. How many syllables in tim id? Two. First syllable is tim. T i m. Very good. Second syllable is id. I d. Good. Go ahead and write tim id. All right. First syllable is tim. T i m. Second syllable is id. I d. Timid. The next word is splendid. What a splendid view! Splendid. How many syllables in splen did? Two. First syllable is splen. S p l e n. Second syllable is did. D e d. Go ahead and write splendid. And now help me to write splendid. S p l e n. Second syllable is did. D, e, d. Very good. We're now ready for our last six spelling words. The next word is tranquil. What a tranquil setting. Tranquil. How many syllables in tranquil? First syllable is tran. T, er, a, n. Second syllable is quill. Qu, e, o. Go ahead and write tranquil. And now help me to write it. T, er, a, n, quill, qu, e, o. How will we mark tranquil? We'll underline the qu because the q and the u are working together to say the sound qu. This is a multi-letter phonogram. Also, in this phonogram, u is not a vowel; it is part of the phonogram qu. The next word is conflict. They had a conflict about what time to leave. How many syllables in conflict? Two. The first syllable is con, k, a, n. The second syllable is flicked, f, l, e, k, t. Go ahead and write conflict. And now help me to write it. K, a, n, f, l, e, k, t. 
conflict. Once again, this is all the first sounds. The next word is contract. We signed a contract together. First syllable is con tract. How many syllables? Two. First syllable is con k a n. Second syllable is tract t er a k t. Go ahead and write con tract. And then help me to write it. K a n t er a k t. Very good. Contract. The next word is contest. There will be a contest next week. Contest. How many syllables in contest? First syllable is con. K a n. The second syllable is test. T a n. Go ahead and write contest. And then help me to write it. K a n t e s t. Contest. The next word is compact. We have a compact car. How many syllables in compact? Two. The first syllable is com. K a m. Second syllable is packed. P a k t. Go ahead and write compact. And then help me to write it. K a m p a k t. Compact. And the last word is complex. This is a complex question. How many syllables in complex? Very good. Two. First syllable is com. K a m. Second syllable is plex. P o l e x. Go ahead and write complex. And then help me to write it. K a m. P o l e x. Thank you for joining us for the Logic of English spelling list number one. We hope you can join us again for spelling list number two, where we'll discuss new phonograms and new spelling rules, and demonstrate how they apply with the A through Z phonograms to another 25 spelling words.